What's going on, YouTube? I'm finally back bringing you guys a Mondays with Murdoch. Now, this is a. Uh, it ain't gonna be long. It's gonna be about 30 minutes, if that. Maybe a little longer. I don't know. Haven't decided. Um, however, I wanted to bring this to you guys ASAP. Um, big events just happened, so I was like, oh, my layoff is close. I might as well jump on the opportunity now. Um, we're going to be talking about Travis Scott, and that's it. So this is going to be like a prequel to what's going to happen, hopefully, this year. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to post one next week. Again, I'm not completely laid off, but this was too big of a subject not to talk about. I am live on Twitch um, almost every day now. Uh, Call of Duty came out, so obviously I'm going to be grinding the hell out of that. So I'm going to be live on Twitch almost every day that I can be. Uh, still got a lot of stuff going on, so uh, I just hope you guys enjoy these podcasts. Uh, join with me on Twitch, uh, Murdoch Gamer on Twitch. Um, so just uh, hit me up on there, and uh, let's get this podcast fucking started. All right, there's my intro. All right, cool. so this podcast uh, this year, the Mondays with Murdoch, is going to be a little bit different. Um, instead of playing a video in the background. I'm bringing you strictly to Discord. That's how I'm going to do these podcasts. It's about the best way to do it because I feel like I can set it up the way you guys see it right now. Um, you know, whoever's with me, you can see if they want to share their um, screen, if they want to share their uh, camera like Alex's. Um, I don't have an extra camera to share mine, but you guys, you know, you're on Twitch. You can see me right here. It's okay. Um, eventually, that'll change. Um, but today we got obviously Juniper, Alex in the top left. We got Glizzy in the top right. Uh, myself in the bottom left. As you see, the box will light up green when we're talking. Um, I try to. This year, I really want to focus on just a podcast and not like everybody gaming like we did last time. I know this is a gaming community, but some subjects like today is a little bit more intriguing. And then obviously we got our man Ethan. Tunnel Snakes Rule, um, the Goy Boy in the bottom right. I like him being in my podcast. He really brings a lot to the table, so I'm glad he can join us and hopefully continue throughout the entire season of Mondays with Murdoch. So, today's subject, like I said, I didn't really want to start it, but it was too big of a subject not to talk about. We're going to talk about Travis Scott and, and the shit that's been going on with him. Um... So, I say the best part right now is, uh, let's just do a little bit of background. Um, obviously, he's a hip-hop artist. Everybody, if you don't know him, that's what he is. He's a hip-hop artist. Um, he does, I mean, before, okay, this is going to sound really rude, but, like, before all this happened, I, I thought his music was all right. Yeah, he sings that song, Goosebumps. I get those goosebumps every time. And sicko world. Um, so I can't, like, I can't bash his music is decent. But now that I know what I know now, I, I, I can't listen to it. I just, I know there's a background to it now. Like, the song Goosebumps, I know there's a background of that now. And I just, I don't think I'll be able to do it. Um, so let's get on with what happened. If nobody is aware on my channel, which I don't know how you wouldn't be, um, Travis Scott performed at Astro World, which is in Houston, uh, Texas, and eight people died, and he pretty well did, I don't want to say he didn't do anything, he pretty well, yeah, he pretty well did nothing. What was that? Did someone else join the call? It would have popped up, wouldn't it? Alex, what was that sound? What was what sound? I heard a bading. Oh, I don't know what it was. I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. So anyway, that's what happened in Astro World. Um, and I wanted some thoughts from some people. What do you What do you think about it, Alex? Hey, there's, there's Todd Dyke. Oh my God. Except for he's muted. Jesus Lord. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, Unmute God. yourself, Ethan. Oh, there's Susie. Oh my God, what? <laughs> she. Oh my God. Low key, they're huge Travis Scott fans. Yeah. <laughs> I just looked at the camera. All right. So, Alex, I want your thoughts on the whole charade. Did you, like, do your research on this or no? No, not really. Babe, I have been awake for 17 hours, and all I've done is go to work and go to school. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you know what happened? What do you think he should have done? So he didn't really stop anything. He didn't stop. He stopped for a couple minutes, I think, and that's what was going on, and they continued to sing. Like, there's a dude dead on the floor or on the ground, and you don't stop? Like, come on. They're carrying a lifeless body above them. I can almost, yeah, I don't know. I can show you a clip. Are you on my stream? Yes. All right. I'll just show you guys a clip right there. Yeah. All right. That's really fucking loud, too. Max, you got moved. Just play capture. All right, real quick. I mean, that's d most definitely not just some dude passed out. So I don't think I'm trying to say that for sure here. But to me, how often do these these singers go to concerts or perform at concerts where people pass out and this is what they do? Like, maybe to Travis Scott, it didn't seem like... Maybe it yeah. just seemed like something that happened every, you know. And I agree. And I, I, can't, I can't disagree with that. But, like... But it definitely looks like a bot, like a lifeless body. So I also, it's decent, you know, to be a decent human being. All you would have to sit there and say is, is that man all right? Like th there comes yeah. a time where you're blacked out, drunk, but you're still breathing. You're still moving a little bit. Like that dude, he's done. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, but again, maybe to Travis Scott or to even the next band or singer, maybe it just seemed like an everyday occurrence. Like, I don't know. And, and you're right. This this entire thing could be one big fluke. You're, I mean, I'm not denying that. Well, I'm not it's, saying that it's a fluke. I'm just saying it's easy to judge when you're not the person being judged, I guess. Like, yes, he could have done this and he could have done that, but unfortunately, he didn't. And that's the only explanation I can think of is, like, legitimate explanation is that uh, maybe he just assumed that it was something that happens at all his concerts, so... Well, from my research, he didn't even stop when the fucking ambulance was driving through the middle of the field either. Yeah, well, see, that that's where I'm kind of... Well, again, though... Okay, how many oh, motherfucking God. times you hear about a fucking ambulance driving through the middle of a concert? I mean, this ain't this ain't WWE. <laughs> you know, this is a fucking concert. It's a straight up fucking concert. That's what I'm saying. Like, I I don't know. I just, I don't. <clears throat> right then and there, you should just stop. I, I don't know when the ambulance actually showed up, but. Eight people found dead, a hundred some injured. Like, it's not just one or two fucking dead. I know it was eight. Even like, even one or two. Now this can go back. This can go clear back to um. So the the one uh video I watched, this could go clear back to Ariana Grande. 
the suicide bomb, the suicide bomb that went off to kill yeah. 20 or something like that. That was ridiculous. Yeah. So, in order to connect these two, we have to talk about the scenery of Travis Scott. No, hold on. We're, we're going to be talking about something oh. bigger, bigger than just Travis Scott and Eight Dead at his fucking concert. I feel like this is going to be a lot longer than 30 minutes, but go on. Well, you can feel free to leave anytime you want to. I'm just saying, like, we're going to be sitting here talking about Travis Scott and what, how, how dark it actually is. Like, look at the entire scenery that he portrays. His shirt. His his um, stage that they made. There was eight flames in the back. Now, this could be coincidental. This could be 100% coincidental. Eight flames, eight people dead. Did Can I add it? another? I'm going to Go add ahead. another thing. So, in his, con in his concert he did on Fortnite, he actually had uh, eight holograms surrounding him as well. Hmm. Now, what was, do you know what the holograms was? Um, know. they were just people. Huh. I'm just saying, coincidence or is his favorite? I mean, I have a favorite number. Could eight be like his lucky number? I don't know. Well, now here's here's something that I've learned. Um, now I had a very long talk, and Alex, you, with you know with who? Um, with a good Catholic friend of mine. So, you know, you guys know the number 666? Yeah. Like, is everyone, like, aware of the whole, the triple six? Like, oh, that's the devil's number? Well, if we're going to get down to the nitty gritty, technically, that's not the devil's number. It is a false thing. It is I don't, actually, I was... it is actually just three digits consecutive. It doesn't have to be 666. It could be right. any number. Hell, it could be 333. So, even though his number might be it, be 8? I mean, he still could be... I, I want to consider him a devil worshiper. Not a, I'm not a Satanist. Because, Jamarcus, I 100% agree, and that's where I'm getting going with this. So... Everyone knows uh, XXX uh, to Tenacion or however the fuck you say his last name. Yeah, XX Ten yeah. Didn't he overdose? I'm pretty sure he overdosed. And he has a tattoo of an upside down cross. Now, I'm just gonna say this real quick. I'm not a I'm not gonna get too religious with this, but if you make a deal with the devil. Right. That deal is your soul. At the end of the deal, it does not matter. It's your soul. You can prolong the deal. You can prolong the deal by doing sacrifices for other people. Like, again, let's just say in theory, just in theory, that Travis Scott did sacrifice people and did a ritual before or during the fucking concert. It does not matter if it was before or during. If he did that, that would be considered part of the deal. But at the end of the day, at the end of the deal, no matter when the deal is, it's going to be your life. And that could be something that XXX did. Because if you if you look around to a lot of these elite people, a lot of these, th this is wild to me. If you look up a lot of interviews from actors or singers, you get a lot of uh, a lot of them that actually say they sold their soul. Now, some of them saying it jokingly, but how many of that actually could be true? Well, that's that's a fair a fair question. Because then a lot of them end up dead. Either by murder or suicide. Now, you look at the last 10 years uh, of this, the history uh, of America and what we went through. 
The last 10 years has been fucking ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, we're, we're getting back to... I, I don't even know. Like, last year was all about race. Uh, I think two or three years ago, before that, it was all about gays. You know, we're, we're getting to chaotic. And the best known secret to the world would be the devil. He likes to be hidden. However, when he comes out, he comes out. And we can't, we can't sit there and say the last five years has not been fucking chaos. We can't sit there and say it's not. Because one of the, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the seven seals in the Bible. Um, so when the seven seals are broken, that's when hell, hell comes. Um, the four hor horsemen, I believe. Uh, the fourth one will bring, bring the hell with him. Um, so when the fourth one goes by, hell is right behind him. So, and it's a pale, I think it's a pale, a pale rider on a white horse. He brings, he brings hell behind him. I think that's how that goes. I think you're, you're, yeah. Um. Something like that. Lots of mass murders. Exactly, Marcus. That's what I'm saying. The last five years has been really hectic to America. I mean, it's even, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to try to bring it in Canada. Okay, I don't know too much about Canada, but even this year, a heat wave in Canada, like, I, I, to me, I would f never would have guessed. And that killed a lot of people. Uh, Texas getting frozen? Like, this shit's unheard of. All right? No one pays attention to the signs. But <clears throat> what I was trying to get at is with all this chaos... The seven seals. One of the seals is a disease. One of the signs, I, I should say, one of the signs of a broken seal is disease. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm, I'm not giving too much hints out here, but um, <clears throat> COVID-19? I mean, yes. Uh, I mean, swine flu, you could say the same thing about swine flu when it came out. Now, on a grand scale, corona's been a little bit more... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to say on a grand scale, I don't think we've touched COVID, like, numbers. That's, the numbers is ridiculous. Now, whether it was released or not by the government, it doesn't matter. That is still, that is still considered, that could still be considered the seventh seal. That could be considered something a lot bigger than just Travis Scott sacrificing a whole bunch of people. So let's look at the, his, his shirt. His shirt was really fucked up, too. Uh, I don't know if I got a good picture of that. Let me find one here. If anyone wants to add anything else. Barely, but yeah. What is it? Yeah, see, he can't hear you, Ethan. But his, on my end, it says he's, wait a minute, is he muted on my end? Oh, I do have it muted on my end. I'm so sorry. Wow. Wow. I, I don't know why. I, don't, I never. Oh, I, I am on a different computer, so that might have been why. It was just I, I had you muted from before. No. No, I think we might have been playing something recently. We just. Maybe we muted each other for it or something. All right, what was you going to add? What? We. Megan said she saw that XX Tenashin got shot, not not drug over. Oh, yeah, yeah, she might be right. Yeah, yeah. Well, supposedly. Supposedly, supposedly. Because people saw but, that video five months ago on, Instagram, on YouTube whenever that shit went down. Yeah. But that is the same thing. It does, I mean, at the end of the day, the devil got his, you know, if, if he did, if he did. Now, he did have that one song on there about something about the devil, I believe. Um, let me look up some of his songs just to see if I can connect it to. Let's see. Let me see actually how he died first just to get. Yeah, murder. 
Murder. Murder. Murder. Jake, don't you listen to him? Or no? Uh, no, not really. Who was that other one we were talking about? Lil Uzi. Oh, Little Uzi Bert. Bert. Lil yeah, Uzi that's Bert, a, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Doesn't he got, um... Oh, that's that dumb motherfucker with a diamond in his head. What the fuck? Oops, I'm sorry. The one that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I don't know these new rappers. I don't pay attention to them. I don't really care. I think most of them fucking suck. Yeah, he's the one. He's the one I was thinking of. He has a chain that's um upside down. I'm pretty sure he has a tattoo that's upside down. He wears those chains and shit that's got the crosses upside down. What's his songs now? Because the one biggest thing I've I, I seen about... Um, Travis Scott's song here. Let me, let me just show everybody. So, I don't know what album it is. Oh Birds, my God. Birds in the Trap Sing, or whatever the fuck it's called. Bees in the Trap. Be bees in the Trap. Yeah, Birds in the Trap. His album cover is him with Black Wings. Now, if anyone's familiar with Black Wings, that would be a demonic angel. It's not an angelic angel, it's a demonic angel. I said angelic demon, but it's almost the same thing. Travis La Flame. What the fuck is these fucking album covers, dude? Alex, uh, what the hell? What's that dude? Uh, in Harry Potter, he's a man horse. Oh, man a centaur. Horse. Yeah, what the hell does that have to do with? Doesn't that have to do something with something? What is? Where is a centaur from? Uh, I, think I think that's Greek mythology. Yeah. I don't even know how to spell it. Ancient Greek. Yes, it's in. It's from Greece. Well, what does it mean? Centaurs had a really bad reputation in Greek myths. They were extremely violent towards women and other people. Well, one of They're... his fucking one of his fucking album covers is he's a centaur. Tell me, man. I think there's a lot more up with Travis Scott than just fucking. Eight people dying. Travis Laflame, he's a centaur. Astro World. So here's the biggest connection. Let me fucking go find that picture now. This is like the biggest fucking one. Uh, it's not. What the hell is that painting called? Uh. Christ in Limbo. I think it's, yeah, Christ in Limbo. Alright, let me uh, pull this shit up for stream. Uh, I'll just say it like that. Alright stream, so here we go. Let me open this shit up. Now there's a big um let me open this one up and then open up another one real quick.
Alright, here we go. We're gonna open both these up. Alright, here we go. So, stream. And of course, YouTube. So, this painting, um, let me get my notes out because I can't, I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'll be honest with you. His name, who painted this, I'm going to do my, the best I can. Hieronymus Bosch? So he painted this long ago for a depiction of hell. I guess that's the best way to word it. Um, there's a lot of detail in here. Um, this is obviously hell's mouth right here. Um, you can see some of the heroes, I guess you could say, trying to bust open the doors to save the people. Um, here you got this guy's head completely turned around. This guy's, he looks like he's gambling. Um, apparently, if you're not very religious, um, gambling is not, how would you word that, Alex? It's a vice. Yeah. It's like not, it's not allowed, more or less. Um, you're not supposed to gamble anything. Um, because technically when you're, you sell your soul to the devil, it's technically a gamble as well. Um, you're gambling your life. Um, you see this guy's head down here, it's cut off. Like I said, there's a lot of detail. And a lot of people don't see it. You see the, your flying demons in the back. Um, yeah, a lot goes into this picture. However, there is a huge resemblance to this picture and this one. Now, by huge, I don't want to mean, like, huge, but you enter through Travis Scott's mouth, which is the same thing as, like, entering the portal. Now, is it true? I don't know. This is all just theories. I I am I'm not on either side on this. Uh, I'm just again I'm supporting facts that I know. Um, could this be a I don't know a fluke as well? Sure, but when you start adding up all the flukes, are they really flukes or are they very coincidental? See what I'm trying to get at? Like, is it Alex? That's the best way I can describe it. Do you have anything you can add to that? Uh, like too too many coincidences make it, you know, hard to believe it's a coincidence at that point. That's what I'm trying to get at. Right, I understand what you're saying. So for that, I don't know. For all those being like that makes it seem a little I guess sus looks like we lost Ethan we did but you know with all with everything that's been happening you can't just sit there and say everything's been a coincidence or a fluke eight flames eight people dead he has um very vulgar looking album covers. Um, Goosebumps is about a song. It's about love that you don't see. Like uh, you're loving somebody that you can't see. So, you know, that, that, I don't know. You can make gospel songs all day long about love for a God that you never see. So let, let me play devil's advocate. Let me play on Travis Scott's side for a second. So what, what would be the difference if you sing a, a Christian song about loving your God that you can't see? There is no difference, right? Except for you don't actually worship. Like Christianity, you're not supposed to worship 
God. You're supposed to believe. They never tell you you're supposed to worship him. You're supposed to believe. Alex, how many times have you been to church? Did they ever say worship? Yeah. Yeah, that's wrong. See, when I went to my church in uh, Crossroads, I never heard him say worship. Now, in song? Sure, you know. You know, it's a song, though. It's not sitting there. You're not sitting there. I don't know how to, I don't know how to word that. A song is different. So, what is different between a gospel worshiping their God and him worshiping what he believes? So, there's my devil's advocate for the day. Um, it's just, it's just tough because <laughs> you don't hear about <laughs> people dying in church if it's a good church, right? I mean, unless a mass shooter comes in and, like, shoots them, yeah. Okay, well, that's completely fucking different. That's not someone in the crowd fucking injecting you with fucking fentanyl. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure they would stop that. They wouldn't let it, you know, people start following around in church. I'm pretty sure they're going to. Uh, yeah, you would think until someone screams that they're speaking in tongues and then. Hilla, are you defending Travis now? No. Well, that's what I'm saying. You're going to sit there and, and bash the church, but. You wouldn't know what the church... I mean, I don't know what the church would do either, but, like, at the same time, you're going to sit there and, and say that a church ain't going to stop it? Or are they going to keep singing their fucking gospels? Again, depends on the church. <laughs> a good church would stop. Yes, you're right. Okay. That's what I said. I said a good church. I didn't say a church. I said a good church. The big difference in the words I used. Anyway, let's get looking at his shirt. I can't find his shirt anywhere. Well, there's your going to be your fluke in your argument. What? They're saying there's a a, a ninth uh, a ninth victim. He's not dead yet, but he's he's fighting. Is it the security guard? No, it's a nine year old. Nine-year-old Ezra. Still, it's still not a fluke. Well, no, but you guys keep saying all this stuff about eight, 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 and it's like, well, now a ninth person might die, so there's a fluke there. If he still sold his soul, it's not, at the end of the day, it depending on how, what he made to deal with. Was it nine or eight? Because wow. they also, they revived, they revived the fucking security guard. So that would have been nine right there. I'm saying... I'm saying that's a coincidence. Eight with eight flames. I'm yeah, saying that's a coincidence. But ritual don't have exact numbers depending on what you're trying to sacrifice. Hell, maybe he wanted them all dead. Did you got anything to add? I know you were big into this. I'm trying to look for fucking Travis Scott's shirt. That he was wearing? Yeah, mainly the back of it, the symbols. I can just send it to myself on, on Facebook here. Oh, I could have sent those too. What the fuck? All, right, well, All the pictures I'm seeing, he has a jacket on. Yeah, I got it. Let me just... Pop, pop, putty pop. Jake might have been asleep. That's 2019. I got it right here. I already saved the picture and everything. Oh, okay. All right, let me just get my stream back up. Open it here. There we go. Whoops, wrong button. 
So here it is. Um, at, at first glance, you know, it's just an F, a dart, yeah, whatever. But I've been, I don't know. When I first heard about all this, you know, I was like, yeah, this is kind of getting sinister and kind of dark. So the symbols on the back are, is, is not obviously Chinese. There's no way that's Chinese. Your stream but, is now just bringing up the picture. Yeah, I got a delay on. Um, so with the whole demonology and everything that I've been looking into, I called one of my best friends, like I said, and he actually sent this picture over to his priest, and he talked about it. He would not tell him. I can hear an echo. Well, it he ain't on not, me. It has to be. He's going through your mic. I don't know how. Maybe he's cut out with yelling. You're good. So, the priest was telling him that he can't talk to him about it. Um, these symbols mean a lot more than just fucking letters, numbers, or whatever that equal sign with a cross out. They're not symbols. They're actually part of a pentagram. Now, he wouldn't tell them what pentagram... Uh, well, uh, there's only one kind of pentagram, so there's a fluke there. A pentagram's just a star with a circle. Are you Catholic? It. Are you Catholic? No. Okay. No. There's but... actually three pentagrams. Thank you for a ritual. <laughs> Depending on what symbols they are. A pentagram, yes, is a circle with a bunch of fucking triangles in it. Yes. But for a ritual, you have to have symbols. And depending on what symbols it is and what order they are is what it means, is whatever that ritual is. I don't know exactly because, like I said, his priest would not tell him. I know he says he's thinking it was the one that has a goat head in the middle. There should be a goat so, head in the middle. So the Baphomet. Yes. But, with the symbols, I mean, one, it's kind of blurry. I don't know, is that like a three with a wing on or some shit? I don't know what the fuck that symbol is. But yes, there is only one type of pentagram. You're right. But for doing rituals, you need symbols. Uh, let's see. Well, the Baphomet pentagram is the official copyrighted symbol of the Church of Satan, which I had brought that up earlier. Now, would he be part of the Church of Satan, though? I don't know. Well, I mean, if that's what the Catholic... A ca well, I don't know if it was a Catholic priest, but if that's what that priest was saying, is that it was the, the Baphomet pentagram... It, I mean, that's copyrighted by the Church of Satan, so... But see, he don't have a pentagram. He has symbols. The symbols might not... It might not be able to be copyrighted. I don't know. I don't know how all that works. So these are, um... These are all pentagrams I'm looking at. I'm trying to find the one... He did. He couldn't send me a picture. Like I said, he could not give me any more information because he was not allowed. His church. See, there's the F. You see that on my stream, Alex? That looks like the F. Uh, I'll tell you in about two minutes when your street stream catches up. Sorry. I just not see that. There's an F on that one. I'll have to remember to tur take off my stream delay next time.
Jack, you're good. It's gonna be on YouTube, bro. That's that's an F. That's a Nordic rune. So that's still words? not. Yeah, it's still not the right F though, because that one has a accent on the bottom. It's still not the right F anyway. It wouldn't matter. I like how it says witchcraft. Because it is. Yeah, it could just say a rune, though. Well, most of the time witches use them. Oh, speaking of which, I did learn something new about the, um... Oh, fuck. What's the National Cemetery again? Arlington. Arlington, yeah. I learned something new about that today. I'm going to turn that back off for just a second. Just in case something pops up I don't want people to see. Huh. I don't know what the hell... He said as soon as he showed him the picture, he knew exactly what it was. Um, the one symbol, I don't know which one he's talking about, was considered a demon's name. He has that in his book, but you don't know which book. It probably is the F, if I would have to guess. Cause I'm not seeing any of them other symbols either. There's thousands of demons, Dave. Yeah. Most of them just have symbols. Just because it's easier to fucking name them. Yeah, I need a better. I need a better picture of the shirt. I know. I can't find one, Jack. If you could find one, that'd be fucking great. I Do think that. that would clear up some confusion. <clears throat> Because if we can clearly see what's on the back of it, I think we can clearly Although, figure out. Okay, but even the front of the shirt is, I mean, as much as I say it's not sus, it is still is sus. Let me, let me send that one to myself as well. It, is it the people, like, walking out of the door? Yeah, portal. That'd be a portal in my eyes. You don't, you don't turn red from being blue for walking through a doorway. This ain't Nickelodeon. Oh, see, I'm not seeing the blue. Oh, I, yeah, I, yeah. You're probably not seeing the right one, then. Oh, here we go. No, I was looking at the right one, but he's got the damn jacket on. Oh. Me fucking... Oh, my God, I can't fucking find it on my phone. Oh, right there it is. Hold on. I'll save that one from Jack from earlier. Oh, Jen. Your, your freaking aunt's funny. Jake, you still alive? I think he's dead. Oh, here we go. Alright, I sent it to myself. Let me go ahead and open it. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna pull it up real quick. I found the shirt. Clear as day. You're gonna show your screen. It literally says festival on the back of his shirt. The the symbols? Yeah, it says Fest. Fest why 21. Why don't you share your screen? It'd be a lot easier. Oh, yeah, shit. I guess I could. See, this is why we're doing this podcast. To uh, debunk everything, if we can debunk it. Watch stream. You're streaming. You're not sharing your screen, are you? It, I, I don't know. There it is. I'm streaming. <laughs> Dumbass. What's wrong with my mouse? There we go. 
fest. What the so why is it why is it all blurred out on the other one then? I don't know. Maybe because it was a shit picture. World fest. See you on the other side. What's that say? November five or whatever the fuck it is. Five. Uh, six? it should be no November six. I think is the last six, was the last day of the. Well, there we go. Look at that. Yeah, November 5th through the 6th, 2021, yeah. I think the front of the shirt has more meaning than the back of it. Can you show the front, or is there no front to that one? Yeah, there, you go. there it is. Like, I could I see... At, and that's a lot clearer than what I could fucking pull up. That's sus as shit, in my opinion. Hold on, let me make sure I can move my Oh, well, that's, that's what I'm saying, is I think the front of the shirt might have more meaning than the back of it. I still don't like the back of it, though. Like I said, the first, even the F is still sus to me. It could be his handwriting. It could be, but I don't. I don't like that because that's still. I've seen that in other, like not other pentagrams, but I've seen that in, like, um, what the hell is that kind of writing? Uh, it starts with an H. And not hieroglyphs either. It's not hieroglyphs. I don't even say hieroglyphs. Let me look up. All right, I, 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 I'm keeping it up, the, the shirt, but I, uh, yeah, I nice. stopped. Close stream. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Um, let me just look up, see if I can find that type of writing I'm talking about. Okay, I don't think I'm going to fucking find it by looking at that. I don't know, like I said, at the end of the day, let me go to his Twitter and see what he posted, because he did post something on Twitter. At the end of the day, I did not see his Twitter, by the way. <clears throat> it all could be very coincidental. And some dumb motherfucker in the crowd was just... fetting all people. We don't know the story. My opinion, I'm going to stick to it, is he's still a little sus to me. Why wouldn't you stop the festival, or why wouldn't you stop singing? Why wouldn't you... Ask everyone if they're alright. His, his, his fucking artwork, his... his his songs, you know, they just don't, they still don't add up to me. The festival can still be a fluke, but y you never know. I mean, you really don't. Uh, let me read his tweet. I'm absolutely devastated by what took place last night. My prayers go out to the families and all those impacted by what happened in Astro Field or World Festival. Houston PD has my total support as they continue to look into my tragic into the tragic loss of life. I'm committed on working with the Houston community to heal and support the families in need. Thank you to Houston PD, Fire Department, and NRG Park for their immediate response and support. Okay, so that's that. That's what baffles me: immediate spawn, response and support. Motherfucker, there was a goddamn ambulance going through the middle of the fucking crowd. Why keep singing? Not say, oh, look, an ambulance. You know what I'm saying? I don't get why you would not stop it right there. Now, 
Let me see. I'm pretty sure he's from Houston, though, isn't he? I think I've seen an article. I think he is. I think you're right, and that's. I think that's why he holds it in Houston. Houston, Texas. There, yep. there were fifty thousand people in attendance. The Houston Chronicle reported that Scott stopped performing multiple times throughout the night when he spotted distressed fans in the crowd. But why didn't you stop it completely? I don't know. If 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 you're on stage and you see that many distressed members, you need to stop. This? Whether it's fifty thousand or not. Good game, boys. If there's fifty thousand members you can spot stress distress you should be able to stop it okay and i i agree with that but i mean people make shitty decisions all the time so okay well you're right you're absolutely right but let's give travis scott some some how how i don't know how to word it what is his... the Dow? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's look at his history. One of his last, no, I don't know how long ago it was, but one of his concerts, he stopped because a fan threw a shoe on stage. And this was pre COVID. So why the fuck would you not stop for something like this? That's the question. That's what's. I think that's what has pe people more mad than anything else. Besides, obviously, besides people dying. But why didn't you stop it? We could do the he said, she said bullshit. Or why didn't he do this? Why didn't he do that bullshit? But the matter of the fact is, he should have stopped. If that makes sense. Well, I just watched a video of the ambulance going through the crowd, and Travis Scott is legitimate. Like, he looks confused, so. Well, yeah, if I was confused, I'm sorry. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. Again, that's me. I mean, I know I'm not Travis Scott, but you fucking... How many times do you see a... Again, this ain't the WWE. How many times do a fucking ambulance run through a fucking festival? Well, I mean, they have earpieces. Maybe whoever... It's as easy as someone say, saying, it's nothing, Travis, just keep playing. Okay, and it's still on Travis. If I say, go jump off a bridge, are you going to do it in the middle of a festival? If you're paying me millions of dollars, I probably would, but... I, I would beg to differ. I, I could pull up a fucking clip right now of... um. Let me look him up real quick. Fucking Red Bull guy. He says he'd never do it in a million years again. It doesn't matter how much they paid him. Red Bull prom Marcus, paid promotions. Jamarcus, he's paying for the funeral expenses and everyone in attendance is getting a full refund. And it was a sold out crowd. He said he's refunding all 50,000 people. Full, full refund. He's not keeping any of it. So... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I guess my example would be for stopping the stopping what you believe in would come back to like what well, you said. If someone's paying you to jump off a bridge, you're gonna do it, right? He still he still should have stopped the show. It it doesn't matter how much you're getting paid. Human decency, you stop the fucking show. Look up, didn't Harry Styles have something? He stopped the show for something. When we look at up, what did Harry Styles stop his show for? Cause you're, that's your hero.
uh, he stopped his concert ten hours ago, or when the Astro World thing happened, he stopped his concert. He stopped a concert to help a fan come out to her mom. He st I know he stopped his concert to do a gender reveal. He stopped his concert because he saw someone proposing in the crowd. That's what it was. But even some of these metal festivals, people fucking helped other people. And they do, they get a bad rep because it's fucking metal music. I don't get it. I, I don't care. Still, at the end of the day, you, you stop your show. Let me see what this says. Adele. I, I don't know, man. It's just... Harry Styles. Here we go. In 2019, the singer stopped an L.A. concert and said, I have a very serious question. Are you okay in there? The crowd shouted no. Harry asked if the woman in question was down, and the fans yelled back that she was. Harry said that help was on the way and asked everyone to take one very slow, very gentle step back to ensure the woman could be reached. And that's just one person. Yeah, but I don't think he stopped his concert completely. I think he did finish the concert at some point, but... That still would have de-escalated the situation here. Whether it was one or two going down, if he would have stopped it completely to get help. There might not have been a hundred injured and eight dead. It's not like the shooting from... Uh, that country, that country, um, concert that was going on in L.A. It's not like that. There's not a fucking shooter. You didn't hear gunshots. It was people dropping dead. There's a fucking something wrong there. You need to just stop it. Like, my mind's set on that. And it's not like Adele where the bomb goes off. Like that, t what, are you, what are you gonna do if the bomb goes off? You can't do anything. It's already done and did. Get everyone else the hell out of there. Obviously that concert was stopped. Just like the one that was shooting. But this one, you still had the ability to stop your show. This is saying concert, these concert goers said that he stopped multiple times and, and said, hey, can we get these guys help? I don't uh, know. But then again, it's the same it's the same thing as what you just talked about Harry Styles. A one person, one person goes down. And he made sure help was there before his concert resumed. I I know I know, you know, maybe maybe he's thinking or passing out drunk, but that's that's still not there's fifty thousand people. If he's passed out drunk, you still need to stop your show so he doesn't get stamped, like, trampled on. Now, from what I've seen, nobody got trampled on. That's actually funny because I've heard that all of them got trampled. Well, from the three articles and the video that I watched, nobody got well, trampled. Well, they, they must have updated that then because when, when it happened, people were saying it was a stampede and people no, were being trampled. No one died. No one died from being trampled on. Yeah, it might have been injuries. Oh, right. Okay. That, I see that's what, what you, I, you're saying. That's what I should have said. Sorry. I'm not saying that they're getting, like, people didn't get trampled on and, like, injured, but I'm saying, like, no one died from being stepped on, which is a shocker. Jack, I don't know if you were here for it, but there's a nine year old kid that they think's not going to make it. So that'll make at least nine, the death toll nine. I'm not. Says he's fighting for his life. Yeah, no no one died from getting trampled on. That's, that's what I meant. Well, to say. if. If this kid dies, he will be the first one that got trampled to death. They're saying he got trampled, and that's why. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm going to be like Eminem here for a second. Why the fuck is there a nine-year-old at a Travis Scott concert? I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. That's uh, full opinion-based. Jack, I've only seen I've only seen eight people died so far, and I just looked it up. 
I'm not saying you're wrong, but... Yeah, I haven't seen anyone getting trampled to death yet. Yet. The ones I've seen was all fentanyl. But, again, that doesn't change my fact, why was there a nine-year-old? Like, that's just my opinion. I remember Eminem, he called out... Woman... I, I, This is saying there's 13 people that are still hospitalized. I mean, they're not dead, but... Exactly. There should no way be a nine-year-old there. I'm sorry. Again, opinion-based, I don't care. But I remember when Eminem called out uh, a dad who brought his son, and obviously his son was not above 18. I don't... It was, he was young. He, I don't think he was in a double digits either. He, uh... He called man, him out on stage. Man, y'all would have some choice words for my parents then. Okay, but what concerts did you go to that was so horrible besides metal bands? Well, none, but I was allowed to listen to the music. I was allowed to be fans of the people. No shit, but are you got, were they have taken you to a fucking Eminem concert as he's cussing and shitting on stage like that? Uh, I don't know. They probably would have. <laughs> I doubt it. And I haven't watched the ad. It's okay. Ten seconds behind anyway. Oh, Ethan's back. Nice to meet you. Finally. Finally. <laughs> like I said, I, I'm not sitting here saying it's a fluke, but it still could be. This is his hometown. Do I believe he's still a devil worshiper? 100%. That's, that one's not going to change my mind. After seeing all his his music choices, his his artwork. Oh, you didn't you didn't hear Jack about I don't think you heard about the his uh, album art. Um Goosebumps. I can't think of the album name. Um It's him with Black Wings. Obviously Black Wings is uh, a demonic angel, um, the the astral world. But then we, what the fuck was that? Centaur, a centaur. Is that what it was, Alex? Is that how you a say? Centaur, it? yeah, centaur. He made himself a centaur, which then makes that like uh, it was Greek mythology for. I can't one hundred percent remember. It was something evil with women and children or something. Yeah, it, it something about centaurs were known in Greek mythology to to beat women, beat women and children. So yeah, I mean that's not that's not something you want as an. I mean to me that's not something I would want as my album cover. Yep. Yeah, okay, but to be fair, when you have centaurs like in Harry Potter where they're not evil, it's kind of. I wouldn't. Th I would have never thought until today that centaurs were evil. Well, no, but again, coincidences add up. To well, me. yeah, yes, I, I, I know, I know what you mean there, but I would have, I would have used. If he would have had, if he would have just had a centaur and none of the other album arts, I would never raise question. But now I have to raise question. Jack, it was it. The last I saw, it was eight, and thirteen people were still in the hospital. Again, I'm not I'm not defending the guy at all. I'm not attacking him. I'm just uh I'm not biased. I'm looking at what I've what I've studied, what I know, what I've heard, what I've seen. I don't want to even sit there and say facts. I can talk about the seven seals, I can talk about all that other bullshit, but with what Travis Scott did I believe he needed to shut down the concert, and none of this would have happened. But since he didn't shut down the concert, it makes me raise question 
Was it dark and was it sinister? Could have been. I, I'm not. I'm not saying with all the stuff, all the information we've compiled, it is or isn't. I'm saying it still possibly could be. Yes, I, I believe it is very dark and very sinister. Whether it was meant to be a sacrifice or it was just a fucking maniac in the crowd, I don't know. He sure stopped the concert. To no end. Yep, and I, I was thinking about this too, and I said, you know, regardless of what actually happened, no one is going to look at Travis Scott the same anymore, so. Well, that's he just... Kind of, he fucked himself <laughs> And, I mean, uh, let, me, let me, you know, I love conspiracies. Let me just throw another one out the window here. You ready? This one's going to be mind-blowing, okay? You ready for this bullshit that I could give you? What? Alec Baldwin. Where was they shooting their video at? I don't remember. Texas. I'm going to look it up. Oh. I was going to say is someone made a huge mistake. <laughs> Wasn't it Texas? It was. It was down that way. It was in a nice, nice remote area. I'm. I'm here. I'm here. Going to be putting points in the different areas here for a second. I just want to make sure I, I get the right information. Where Alec Baldwin was shooting at? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh my fucked. god! It... <laughs> That's fucked. I'm sorry. New Mexico. New Mexico. That's close enough, right? That's a state over, I think. Yeah, should be a state over. Alright, how do you know he didn't hire someone to go fucking lace everyone up with fentanyl and fucking die so he get his fucking paparazzi off his back? The motherfucker oh, went man. close. The motherfucker went close shopping after he shot the lady. But, how? I mean, how do you not go about your day? I'm sorry. I know you just shot a woman. I know this is a completely different subject. But how do you... How do you expect someone not to go about their day? I don't know. But I mean, again, people... There, people there's, say, my, there's my conspiracy right there. P, I mean, people say the same thing about me. Well, it was your grandfather's funeral. Why aren't you crying? And it's like... Because that's not how I was raised. I wasn't raised to cry at funerals. So I don't know. <laughs> But, that's what I'm saying, like, who knows, it could have been Alec Baldwin setting it up and be like, yo, get the fucking paparazzi off my back. Whether that's true or not, I highly doubt right. it. I'm just, I'm just starting out another conspiracy that you never know what, we, we, we look at the headlines, we look at the videos, it's us to the side, but at the same time, there's still a truth behind it. Whether we get to the truth or not, we may never know. It's all conspiracy. It's all theory. I'm sticking to my theory. I'm 70-30. I'm 70% I'm that it was dark and sinister and on purpose, and 30% coincidental. It, because again, it was just all, yeah. Because, again, the world still spins. So, coincidences does happen. With him worshipping everything being a devil worshiper i would consider or even a satanist it might not have been a ritual it could still be considered a satanist you're still fucking with the seven seals don't fuck with the seven seals just just stop just stop that's my final input on all this i don't like travis scott no more no i never did <laughs> Well, I did. I liked. I did like the song Goosebumps, and now that I know what the song is about, about loving something that you can't see, again, I I don't know, Ethan, if you were here, and uh, Jack, I don't know if you were here when I talked about it, <clears throat> but here's the input on the Goosebumps song, where he talks about loving something you can't see. What the fuck? Now, this is in Travis Scott's defense. What is the difference between Goosebumps and in a gospel song where you love a god that you cannot see. What is the difference? Where okay, pause. Where did you find the goosebumps thing? It's his lyrics. Cuz this is saying it's a love song. Yes. About a girl. Well, his girl it says. 
but it's still love that you can't see. Like, he can't see her. And it's still like, um, how do I, it's not subliminal messaging, but it still could raise question of, because some, some people believe that the devil's a girl. Now, I don't know if he believes that, I'm just saying. I feel like the devil is genderless. I say it too, I, I believe it's uh, a goat. Yeah. I believe it's a goat, but that's me. Uh, because if something can take on any form, then you have to be genderless, then. Exactly. Or you can so just. In that, I mean, in that or fact, you could just be a skinwalker. Or a Wind Wendigo. I mean, it could be really. We could name off anything. Yeah, honestly. Shapeshifter. That's the one I was looking for. Shapeshifter. Yeah. Which technically, I think he is a shapeshifter. If we get deep into that subject. Yeah. But we're already well, an hour in. <laughs> well, regarding the uh, Travis Scott stuff, it seems like he likes to use a lot of imagery for his uh, stuff. Yeah. Meanwhile, one of the bands I listen to, they're called Behemoth. They are known Satanists. <laughs> And they they don't try to hide it. They, they just tell you straight out. Yeah, but out. Satanists are not evil people. That's I know, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. I mean, okay, let me rephrase that. I, I'm gonna say, hold the fuck up. Hold their, on. Their basis isn't to be evil. I mean, just like any other religion, there are still evil people that practice it. But the majority of them are not. They don't believe in being evil. Evil. I was just referring to that because, like, their albums I know. are pretty, yeah. There's literally an album called The Saint. <laughs> okay, you I brought up their newer stuff, but babe, you brought up the Ariana Grande thing earlier, and you never finished your thought. Oh, if it would be tied to, if it would be tied to sacrificing. So, I believe that one was a suicide bomb. Yes, that one was a suicide bomb. You could literally set that up as a sacrifice. You could set... Travis Scott could have set this up as a sacrifice. Ariana... All these elites could do shit like this because... Okay, but I, I would believe Travis Scott doing that a million times before I would think Ariana did because her reaction to when it happened was a lot different than Travis's. My fucking point exactly. Okay. That is exactly my point. You've seen the shocked face. You've seen the tears. You've seen everything emotional with Ariana Grande's concert. You've seen nothing with Travis Scott. You've seen a it's fucking like apology it. on a fucking tweet. Except that her concert wasn't going on when it happened. <laughs> It doesn't matter. You've seen her. You've seen how emotional she, she was. Well, after the fact, yeah. She was on the hey, street Megan. crying. Megan brought up a good point. <laughs> oh boy. What what about um Mac Miller? So we're talking about Ariana Grande. What about Mac Miller? I don't know, that one is tough. I don't I never really I'll be honest, I never really listened to Mac Miller either. Well I never listened to him either. I was, I was she just said about Mac Miller. Now that there to me could just been depression. But like Yeah. With Tenacion having all those upside down crosses and probably low key a, a Satanist or a devil worshiper, his his time has come. And again, when it when you make a deal with the devil, it does not matter if you if it's suicide or anything, he is there for your soul. Like whether you get murdered or you try to run from it, you are gonna die one way or another. He dies at a fucking motorcycle. It, I'm pretty sure it was a random shooting too. I don't yeah. think it was gang related. It was a random mass shooting at a motorcycle shop. What? Okay. Uh, I'm not. I'm uh, not saying John Lennon was either, but you never know. He could have been. Some guy just goes up and shoots him for his 15 seconds of fame. That was all he wanted. But how do you know? How do you know that wasn't planned from the devil? How do you know that? I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like everything could have its its conspiracy. 
So referring to the also to Travis Scott, I hate I hate hate how everyone is comparing it to Lincoln Park because they're like, oh, Lincoln Park stopped. That. I'm like, you go to any metal or rock concert, they will stop the show if someone is on the ground. Then you weren't you were. Not you weren't here for that conversation. Harry Styles stopped his concert. Because for one person. He, for one person, yeah. So, like, it's not just metal bands. Like, I saw yeah, the article yeah, said know, but... Adele, Harry Styles, Niall Horan. Like, there were, like, like Rage Against the Machine was, was one of them, but... Well, they're, they're metal, so... <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, and... That, that, like, you know, everyone talk, talks about all these metal people and rock people being shitty people and then they fucking stop a whole show to help one person out and it's like you really can't say that <laughs> oh because you just don't like their music so to up the religious um knowledge for everybody out here when Alex says that Satanism is not worshipping or doing rituals, I just found the article I was wanting to find. It was in 1890s to 1900s. There was mass hysteria about Satanists who worship Satan, Lucifer, and Behemoth, or whatever, in their rituals. Baphomet. Baphomet, yes. However, there is no corroborating evidence in any of these accused Satanisms or actually practi uh, practitioners. They don't. They don't do. They do rituals, but not the way we think. They worship. They don't do rituals. That's the best way you can describe that. They do. They do. They practice. Um, they worship, but they don't do rituals. Rituals is a complete fucking different subject. When it comes to Satanism. You know, this made me think about... Do you remember last year when we were talking about music and I mentioned Mayhem? Like, the one where that guy, like, convinced the lead singer or guitar player to kill himself? Yeah, I, I remember. I, I feel like I feel like that situation had something to do with Satanism or something like that. Especially since the guy was obs the guy who killed himself was obsessed with death, so I mean I wouldn't be surprised if he looked into Satanism. Well, what I'm saying with all like and all the connections with all these big name actors and singers is they're they're considered the elite. They're considered you know Travis Scott. If he didn't sing, if he didn't get signed by this big producer, you would have never known who the fuck he is. Dax, I can throw that name out there. I can throw out Hobson. They're underground rappers because they speak the truth. Travis Scott, look at look at his songs. Look at the difference between his and, and Tom McDonald. There's com they're polar opposite. So why would they push the true agenda when you can push something like a Satanist and make everyone believe? That Travis Scott is some kind of... What's your excuse for Macklemore? I don't listen to him, so I don't I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I just... Cause, well, because you're talking about Travis Scott. If, if he hadn't been signed, Macklemore was never signed. He was a totally indie rapper. And where's he at? I don't know. He's still doing shows. I do know that. But that's my point. I knew Travis Scott to be bigger than Michael Moore. Like I, I, I consider my, uh, Travis Scott to be uh, not an elite, but like right under, like a mega, mega star, not a superstar, but like a mega star, like Eminem, for example. If he was, if he was the same way as, as Travis Scott, everyone would look down on him. But he doesn't rap about that shit. You see what I'm saying? His agenda got... Travis Scott's agenda got pushed up higher than Macklemore's, in my opinion. The only song I know from Macklemore is I Got $20 in My Pocket. Whatever the fuck song that is. Pop Some Tags or whatever. Isn't that him? 
thrift shop. It's thrift shop. Thrift shop. <laughs> See? And he's I'm not saying. known just he's not known just for that song. I I I love music. But here I am. I barely know Ma Malcolm Moore. I, I I know him. But that's the only song I can think that actually went higher up on the charts. Can't Hold Us was a good one that, that topped. Never heard it. Uh, same Love. It sounds gay. Never heard it. That's funny because it's about being gay. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, I'm it's just about saying. being gay. Well, see, perfect. And I wasn't bashing gay people. I was just saying, it sounds gay. Didn't listen to it. That's like little Nas. I didn't like him at first. I, you know, you can kind of change my mind on him. I kind of like him. I just don't like that one song still. Well, and that's fair. That like, you don't like this song. I, I know, I know you're the not a huge. Song I don't like. You the Montero Which song. One, Montero. That's my name. I love that song. I don't like that song. I just I can't. I don't like his tone. I, I think it's his tone in that song. He doesn't I mean, like the he doesn't like the theme of the video. No, that's I didn't even see the fucking video. Oh, basically in the song he's saying he's gonna be who he is even in hell. Okay, that's not my, like the tone of his voice. That's what I'm getting at. Well, you told me you didn't like you didn't like the the theme. Theme? I don't even know what the fucking video looks like. Well, you were told the one talking about to, okay, a stripper pole to hell, and I was like, I just assumed that you'd on a seen the video. Pole. Going to hell, and then he gives Satan a lap dance, and then I still never neck. seen. I still never fucking seen the video though. But you guys explain it to me. That doesn't mean I still seen it. Well, you acted like you had seen it. I guess is what I'm trying to get at. I've never watched anything. The only little Nas video I watched was the one he did with Hundred Thieves. That's literally the only one. And I like that song that was in there. I want to. I want you to watch his industry, industry baby music video. I just want to see your reaction to it. I want to see your thoughts on it. Oh boy. But there's still my point. And I like how Jake's so silent until we talk about Lil Nas. I know. So I love it. About his fucking cousin, and he comes out. See now. Now he goes back to his rabbit hole. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, that's what I'm saying. Like, they pushed like Travis Scott up. The K Kardashians, they consider them elite, and I'm pretty sure they're Satanists. I, it's a rumor. Never done. I never did my research on that. It's a rumor. I have no idea. I'm not even gonna look it up. I don't really care. I don't like the Kardashians anyway. I heard they're not, you know, very nice people. Now, now that I'm curious, I kind of want to know how many, how many like superstars, megastars it is Satanist, because we know Tom Cruise is a Scientologist. We know that for a fact. I'm gonna see if there's a list. Could you imagine like they actually come out and say they're Satanists? What's the one that don't believe in anything? Uh, uh, like ag that, right? uh agnostic. Agnostic. Uh, Lena Del Rey. Now, here's the next question. Does an anti... I, this is one I don't know, and I'm very good with religion. Does Antichrist, do they do rituals? I I don't know. Sammy Davis Jr. Don't know who that is. Oh, I figured you would know who that is. Um, David Bowie. David Bowie? That's what it says. Christian so. Bale is apparently a member of the Church of Satan. I gotta look it. I can tell you the lead singer Ethan, of Behemoth is dressed like that. What? What is your... Look, I know you don't got your camera on. What the fuck is your... What is, what is your profile on, on Discord? I'm just looking at it right now. <laughs> It's um, it's a picture of this character from Fallout Three. His name's Butch. He's the leader of the Tunnel Snakes. So, oh my so, god! I gotta look at Glizzy's so mouth. I oh, I can't. I can't zoom in. Mm -hmm. So, 
So yeah, I just kind of I was like, you know what? For Discord, I'm gonna just be Tunnel Snakes rules. And I was like, I have a perfect picture for this because I made Discord because I was in a, a friend group with uh, Stefan. How do I get out of this? How do I? How do I? I minimize that for a little bit. I'm getting ready to turn this shit off. All right, guys. I think that was a good chat. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Megan brought up something good. Oh, boy. No, it's not stupid. She was just talking about, like, the random fame crap being related to the Illuminati. Yeah. I was... I mean, it, it it makes sense. Yeah, I forgot about the Illuminati. Yeah, cause I mean, I I mean, you never know. The Illuminati could be involved with saint like satanic shit, which are, they probably are. <laughs> I don't know how to get this window down. Oh, and the Freemasons. I'm sure they're related to Satanism in some way. I mean, um, seen... oh, that's actually Freemasons. Um... They are, they are, and, uh, what else was it that I've seen? Um, Freemasons has a lot to do with, oh, what the fuck was that article I read? And, and I know some, someone has, some people have pointed out that, like, the Freemasons is a form of the Illuminati, which would make sense, because a lot of which... the people are also in that. I've heard that. Uh, you never really know. You, you never know. Um, Jack, just um, open up Discord on phone or your... I made Lizzie's... I did. I, I did know that. Um, just open up Discord and you should be able to... I don't know. Oh, you don't have what? I'm curious. Let me invite you. I normally don't do it on this private ears. I usually have a Discord or a podcast chat up top, but then I invite people. Like if I go, if I went to podcast chat, let me see, edit channel permission. See, nobody has permission but me. So then I can just invite whoever I want and then kick them back out and then re-invite them when I need to. That way no one just butts in. Um, oh, yeah. That'll be happening when we really start these podcasts, even though this was only supposed to be 30 minutes. It's an hour and 30. <laughs> that, that seems to happen a lot. I just don't know how to get this back off. I don't want this no more. I just want chat. What if I disconnect? I'll be right back. Whoa. Mm. Oh. And then do I double click that? Yeah, there we go. Alright, I just wanted to know. So, we'll screen it again. Actually, I'll wait till Jackson here. Whoa, 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 what did I do? I think Jack's joining. I can't be too much longer, though. Still got work in the morning. That's Jesus awesome. Christ! What? One of the freaking wrecks today down in Cressop Town. I'm literally looking at a picture of just an engine in the middle of the road. The entire engine just is in the middle of the road. No car around it. Wow. That's what it was. Uh, the Catholic Church does not like Freemasons. So, yes, that could be connected to... It um, would make sense. Yeah, and you know how the Catholic Church is. They're very strict. Uh, yeah, except when it comes to little boys. Oh, then they're loose. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but that's the fucking priest. That's not the entire church. I, that's not the uh, church yeah, community. I know. I know, but they still they all sweep it under the rug though. That makes them not
as guilty, but... Look, I'm not, again, I'm a very, I know most of my religious facts. I'm just going to say this. If you would know everything about the Catholic Church, if you would know everything about Catholicism, you wouldn't want to be them. That's, see, that's what I, I'm trying to say. The secrets that they hide will blow your fucking mind. Still better than a Jehovah Witness. Sorry, not sorry. Sue me on that one. Well, at least Jehovah Witnesses don't practice holidays because they know it's they're pagan. I will give them credit for that. But see, I don't. Really, what's what's Halloween? Cause I don't. From what my research has been, Halloween was not a Christian thing either. No. Halloween. Halloween is. It's a combination of All Saints Day and Samhain. All Saints Day happens on November 1st, and that's a Catholic holiday. And then Samhain is like the, f the full moon of October or something. Is what it's called on. I heard it was, I think Samhain. But I think it was, um, it started with a mess. It was, uh, that's when the, something was closer to the earth. I don't know, it was a fucked up, it was a fucked up thing. But no, Hall Halloween still has some pagan roots, but it's not like Christmas. Christmas is completely pagan. Don't tell the Christians. So I'm just saying, as far as like, because even birthdays are considered a form of witchcraft, and I know that sounds funny, but that's why they don't celebrate birthdays. So, Google, yeah. if you just Google it, it says the Roman Catholic Church is Halloween. Yes, it was, because it was All Saints Day. All Hallows Day. Or all, yeah, sorry, All Hallows Day. Same thing. And then thing. I think... It's the same thing. Oh, okay. But I'm just saying... I'm trying to find out what that was. It's funny, the one holiday that you think would be completely pagan is the one that's not. Thanksgiving? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Thanksgiving. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. Um. I remember that bullshit they, they fed us in elementary school about Thanksgiving and how it started. And it's like, nah, nah, it was just white people coming over to take the Native Americans' land. <laughs> That's right. Was. There was no joining of factions there. Yeah, maybe for like the first week. <laughs> and then they were like, ooh, this land is nice trail of tears yeah all right good night jack all right well i'll be right back guys <laughs> well there you guys have it First podcast of the season done. Again, this was a prequel. I know it was really long. If you guys stuck around, thank you so much. Um, but this is ending episode one about Travis Scott. Again, I wasn't trying to base off anything about facts or anything. I was just trying to be genuine, um, giving both sides an example. And um, that's the best I can do. Um, do I believe what he did was right? Hell no. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Shit happens. I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you in the next podcast. If you have ideas, join Colossal Gaming Discord. It is in the description. Go ahead and just join it. Um, I have a, I have right here, you just go down to a Wolf's Den right here. And it has all your needs right here you got podcast suggestion hubs so feel free to write down anything um and 
I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. And thank you for doing it.